but we need your help. And your help will make a difference. I can assure you we want everyone to have a voice. The Independent Police Complaints Commission Deputy Chair Deborah Glass today announced an appeal for witnesses as part of the organisation's Hillsborough investigation. Ms Glass and her team are hoping to produce the definitive account of what happened on April the 15th, 1989, when 96 Liverpool fans lost their lives. The subsequent cover-up by South Yorkshire Police and later the West Midlands Police in earlier investigations was fully exposed last year with the publication of the Hillsborough Independent Panel Report. Now the IPCC, which has located its Hillsborough investigation here in Warrington, must once again go back to survivors and take evidence of that traumatic day. But there have already been concerns about the pace of the IPCC investigation. I spoke to Deborah Glass today and asked her how they'd ensure that they could interview potentially thousands of witnesses and take potentially even thousands more statements in an appropriate time frame. Deborah Glass, you've announced today that the IPCC wants to talk to witnesses of the Hillsborough disaster. There's already been some concern about how long the IPCC's investigation is going to take. If you have to go through thousands more witness statements, interview thousands more people, how are you going to reassure people that this isn't going to take years and years and hold the investigation up further? Well, the reason we're doing this appeal now is that we... We want to be able to prioritise. We want to hear from those people who've got something to say about their experience of West Midlands Police. And we need to do this so that we can deliver before the inquests the, you know, the most definitive account possible. So we know this is, you know, we, we could get, we don't know what, we get, what the response to this appeal is going to be. I mean, we hope we do get a lot of people contacting us, and it's really, really important. But the inquests are due to start in... March next year, I think, aren't yes. they? Now, in this time already, you've only managed to speak to a few of the police officers involved, and there's still many more of those to speak to. If there's potentially thousands of football fans, how will your team manage to process all those? We, we, we've got a significant number of people working on this inquiry. Uh, we've been fully operational since May, June, and, and I think it's important to recognise that interviews are just the tip of the iceberg as far as investigation is concerned. I mean, the huge amount of analysis that we've done of the existing documentation has what's allowed us to uncover that there are more amended statements than the independent panel had, had, had identified. Uh, there's more documentation out there that, that, that other people haven't seen. So a massive amount of investigation has actually already taken place before the interview process actually begins.